In Oregon, capital punishment is legal. However, it's been years since a state-sanctioned execution, and since then, the death penalty has been further curtailed. Former Governor John Kitzhaber imposed a moratorium in 2011, which was continued in 2015 by Governor Kate Brown. Then, a law passed in 2019 reduced the circumstances in which a death sentence can be imposed. This is the path that Oregon has been on for the last several years. Now, as she prepares to leave office, Governor Brown will grant the 17 death row inmates clemency, commuting their sentences to life in prison without the possibility of parole. KGW's Pat Doris spoke with her this week. I believe that there are many Oregonians that share my values, that it is um, inequitable, immoral, and doesn't make sense for the state to take a life particularly when it is irreversible. Many, like the Oregon Justice Resource Center, applaud the governor's actions, calling the death penalty a failed policy. The nonprofit's executive director writing, Governor Brown made the right choice for Oregon in commuting these death sentences. The facts point toward one conclusion. It's past time for Oregon to end the use of capital punishment. Others are against the move. Essentially, what the state of Oregon is doing is betraying the moral contract it has with all of its citizens. Joshua Marquis was the district attorney for Clatsop County for 25 years until 2018. He believes any actions such as this should be up to voters to decide. Portland-based DHM Research surveyed Oregonians over the years, finding many are in support of the death penalty. Their most recent poll from January 2021 showed 28% surveyed strongly support and 33% somewhat support the death penalty for people convicted of murder. I have been prosecuting murder cases for over 30 years. I have only sought the death penalty in one, and that's generally the way it works. It, it is a rare penalty that is and should be rarely used only in the most vicious um, and heinous crimes. Governor Brown's commutation means that none of Oregon's current death row inmates could be executed, even if a future governor ended the death penalty moratorium. Governor-elect Tita Kotek has stated that she will keep it in place. We have a full list of those 17 prisoners on KGW.com. Laurel?